Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Now in today's video I'm specifically going to be going over the Oswald meter and how you can exploit it a little bit by roughly 20 to 30-ish percent. Okay, So the key is you need to be able to save a blueprint. So as you can see we've got seven different coasters in this park and it might be lagging a little bit just because I'm playing at about 125 percent right now. So we got two you got a third one over here, fourth one, fifth one, sixth, and this seventh one over here. So what we need to do is we need to save these as a as one blueprint. So if you hold down X, and then I'm gonna zoom in. I'm actually gonna make my I'm gonna make my brush size a lot smaller because I don't want to pick up anything other than the roller coasters. So that's one, two, and I'm gonna make sure and do the roller coasters that I feel like have the um, most amount of track or most amount of individual pieces that make up the track. And if you look at that selected information, I only want the roller coaster icon to have a number beside. I want all the other ones to be zero. Now this one was the hardest one to place, to replace, and I'll kind of go over that. Um, and so you just kind of kind of play with it a little bit. It can be a little tricky. So then let's do this one. So that's going to be five. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a blueprint. So I'm going to go back to kind of the middle of the park like this we save as a blueprint and I don't really care about naming it properly because I'm not going to use it for anything else other than this so I'm just going to do AA I'll do the same thing down here and then go to save blueprint now I need to go back and I need to delete each of those rides Both those rides are broken down. That's strange. All right. Um, so now we'll delete this one. So as you can see, I'm just going through and deleting them. It's not anything specific that I have to do or any order or anything like that. I'm just deleting the rides. But now I'm going to go back here to the front of the park, and I'm going to, you see how it's on 99% right now, so I'm going to go to my coasters, and I'm going to go to blueprints, and I'm going to place this. Now the key is, they don't necessarily go in the, they don't necessarily, they're not necessarily placed in the right area, but what happens is the, they're still facing the same direction, same general direction. So as we can see this, um, so I'm trying to... Let me use this flat line right as an example. So I'm going to try to place it as near to the station as I can get it. And you see how, how it says I can place that. And part of it is, um, let's see, so let me zoom in here a little bit. And obviously I'm not going to get this perfect right now and that's not the point. So I'm going to go over to, I'm going to go over to advanced move. And I'm going to move it a little bit this way. So I'm trying to get it. Yeah. That'll be fine. So now I've placed all these rides. All right. So now the tricky part is going through and trying to get it to match up perfectly. So the key is, as you can see, you have your your paths that are a little bit further away. And so this is going to be the tricky part. And it takes a little bit of time and. Um, you know sometimes it works perfectly sometimes you know it can it can take a little bit because this advanced move tool works really well actually no sorry I gotta let's do this one first so right here I'm just gonna take that ride I don't know why I clicked on hammer swing there we go and now I'm just going to move this one and all I need to do is I'm going to try to then place it properly in the entrance. I'm going to start with the height. As you can see, I'm not doing a good job with the camera here. There we go. This one might be a tough one because of where... This was the ride that I put in at the end after I had used the... Um, after I had saved the rides and saved the blueprint. So this one might be tougher because of the trees that I have around. So you see the kind of, the kind of hard part here is 
recognizing that um, you know what, for this one right now, and this is, I'm going to have to delete a couple trees. It's just going to have to be this way. Um, or what I can do is I can simply move this tree. I don't know why that didn't work there. I guess because the Oswald meter is not allowing me to even move the tree, so that's strange. All right, so how to get that out of the way? So now, like I said before, we're gonna. The problem is it takes you to a spot that's kind of in the middle of the ride, so you gotta kind of find a find a way that works best for you. And for this one, I'm going to slowly try to get my ride there. You see, it's not. It does, sometimes it lur it lurches it a little bit too far, um, and so you can see it's kind of sticking out of this area. So it's not perfect. That looks a little bit better now, still. Right, so and sometimes it's hard to get perfect. Like I said, it takes a little bit. It's a little finicky. You kind of have to inch inch the controller. So now, let's see. So let's see how close that is. Um, you know, this one's tough where I've got it placed. And actually, that's really good. That, um, look at the height of it. That looks good. Yep, that actually is perfect. Um, so that's exactly what I was wanting there. So that's good. So that worked out perfectly in this instance. Like, this one was really tough compared to some of the other ones because of what all's around it, right? So, that, so you gotta do that with each individual ride. Um, like I said, it can get kind of tricky. So now you move on to the next one, and like I said, it can take a little bit, but the key is finding a position that works well for you in terms of the placement or visualizing the ride. So for example, I'm trying to get over here. Now, I need to change the height of this. And you can kind of see when stuff's kind of matching up. And since that's going down, that means that height's too low. So now... So let's just check and see how good that is. That might not be perfect. Um, yeah, see, I've got to move it over a little bit. So then I can, um, let's see how it is. Yeah, I mean, I got to move, I still got to move that, right? So it's not perfect. So then I just do the same thing. I still just click on the ride. And I do this. And then once again, that'll allow me to kind of move the shape or move the ride a little bit. And these ones that take up a lot of space are tough because, you know, you've got a lot less leeway with what you can do with your, um, um, in terms of being able to visualize the ride and stuff. Sometimes these controls are not not wanting to work. So let's see if that's any better. Yeah, so it's still facing out a little bit. Um, and yeah, it still needs to go. So this one's not perfect. And, you know, I would continue working with on here, but I don't want to make this video take forever. So let's go on to the next one. And so you, you kind of get the concept with this, right? Um, you just need to find a way that visually it works for you to be able to see and make sure that you, like this one's a little bit easier because of where the overall center of the ride is. There we go. So now it comes in 
this way. Found an inch of the long, there we go. pretty good yeah so some of them are easier than others that one was really super easy and see it looks perfect um, you know I guess I maybe got a tad nope that's good I guess I could have put a little bit more you know to be exact could have moved it up a little bit more but the idea is that I'm now able to put more than a hundred percent of the pieces in the park simply by using this simple exploit and like I said it just just be ready for a little bit of tedious um, tediousness here but the the concept stays the same okay so this will be the last one we kind of do together um, I wish you could save more than five rides on blueprint because then that would be great but you know that's just how they made it and as you can see the game's still operating fine like it's not um, you know, so that's what I wonder kind of with the Oswald issue or the exploit or with making the meter is kind of how did they determine what was what was proper to use and so forth simply because like the game has had zero issues doing this for me. Um, I haven't had anything crash. I haven't really had any skipping or anything like that. So how how did they determine and decide ultimately what was the right amount of pieces and amount that the system could process? Um and, you know, there's some things that frustrate me about the meter, like the amount that, like the, why does paths take up so much of the Oswald meter? That's another thing that I would love to have a good answer on because it seems to me like, you know, it's just, it's just frustrating that that's such a large part of it. Um, let's see. So I need to raise this one up a little bit. That's a little too much. That's way too much. And yeah, so sometimes it just kind of sticks and you got to try to inch it along. And don't allow yourself to get frustrated because eventually you'll get it right. So there we go. Alright, so there we are. As you can see, uh, I kind of extended it. Yeah, probably a little more than I could have. But you know, that's something that you don't really notice too much. And so we'd have this last one to do. Um, but you get the point. So now, based off using that exploit, you can put about, depending on your roller coasters and how much they take up to begin with about 120 to 130 percent of what the game allows in your park so I hope this video was helpful and I hope you're able to use this later on and in, in your park and um, you know like I said before on my channel I would love to to be able to spotlight parks and stuff and so if you have a park that you want me to look at and put it on the YouTube channel um, just send me send me a message or let me know in the comments and I would love to be able to do that for you and by the way I play on the PlayStation 4 um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day